Welcome to part 54 of the Building the Rick and Morty app series. We're going to continue where we left off talking about search result pagination. Before we jump into things, throw a rocket emoji down in the comments to let me know that you're here and that we're still going to the moon with this series. So without further ado, hit that like button as well and let's jump right in. So we did a bunch of fumbling around in the last video, uh, particularly around changing our search result view model to accommodate more than just an enum for our search result. And what we worked on is actually search results pagination for location. When we come down, we very briefly saw that spinner and we got more results. It looks like we're still getting that spinner, so that indeed is a bug. Let's try that one more time. I'll hit search here. We'll scroll down. I got more results, and we still do in fact see the spinner. So that's a bug. We'll come back to that, but what we're going to do in this video is work on pagination for our other two tabs, which are um, for which the results are shown as collection views. So in this case, if I search Rick and I search, boom, we get our results and we are not paginating. So let's let's jump in. So what we'll want to do is start by going to the RM search results view, which indeed we are in. And if you remember down here in the scroll view delegate, we're basically checking, do we need to paginate for locations or do we need to paginate for collection view cells, um, AKA episodes or characters. And we get into this function once we're at the bottom of the collection view. So this is slightly different than the table view where we actually need to dequeue the footer view for the section to show this spinner. Now I have no clue what on earth I called that uh, footer view. So we're gonna do what all great developers do is uh, copy and paste. So let me open up um, our char character um, a character group under the views folder. And we're gonna go into the um, character collection list view. And we are basically constraining this collection view. And let's see where we're setting up the data source. So we're saying the data source is the view model here. Let's come and look at this collection view. So what we're doing is we are actually registering a RM footer view. Um, for the loading indicator, we need to register the same one for the collection view in our results view. So let's find that collection view. All right, here we have it. We're registering. We're actually registering this already. It's right here. So this is going to be footer for loading. Okay, super cool. Let's see if we're dequeuing that already because part of me thinks that I was smart earlier and I copy and pasted that as well. So here we have all the table view jazz. Here is the collection view stuff. So here we are um, doing cell for item, cool. Here we are doing our episode cell. Okay, this is handle a cell tap. It looks like we're not even handling a cell tap at the moment. We're gonna want to do that. And let's see, here we are doing the layout. And it does in fact look like we're not dequeuing a footer view. So let's, let's take care of that. So once again, we're gonna come back here and the data source for our character collection view uh, is handled in the view model. So I'm gonna come in here and do command F for footer and we should be able to find this function here which is our collection view, view for supplementary element of kind. So I'm gonna grab that function and let's see, here we have our layout reference size for footer. We also want this here. And I guess those are the only two functions we'll want to copy on over. So let me grab those two, go back to our results view. And here we have all the collection view jazz. So I'm just gonna paste it in the bottom here. Uh, and we're gonna try to compile and see how many errors we have to fix. All right, so we definitely have some errors here. The first one is, should show load more indicator. This doesn't exist, but if memory serves, we do have this off of the view model. So we're gonna say view model should show load more indicator. We had added this for location and we're gonna, we're gonna guard against that. But in this case, our view model is indeed optional. So we'll want to unwrap this before we do that check. And what we're saying is, um, if we should show the load more indicator, we're gonna DQ the proper size for this footer. Otherwise, what we're gonna DQ is a size of zero, AKA it'll still be there, it just won't show. 
Um, respectively, we have this function here where the dequeuing happens. So we're verifying the guard in the guard that the kind is a footer. Then we uh, dequeue it and we cast it to the appropriate um, type. And then we say footer start animating and we say uh, return footer. So I guess one other thing that we could do here is we can say start animating only if we have um, more results to be shown. Um, otherwise, you know, we're still gonna show the footer, but we don't really need a thing that's hidden, AKA the activity indicator to be spinning, um, which is gonna be using a slight bit of compute, right? It's a minor optimization, but nevertheless, good to make. So we'll say our view model is view model, and we're gonna say if view model should show Nope, that's not useful. View model, view model dot should show um, load more indicator. If this is indeed true, then we'll call the start animating. So let me give this a build and run. And let's make sure that we can at least see that load more indicator footer. So let me search for Rick. And presumably we have uh, more results. I'm kind of guessing, but let's see. Okay, cool. So we see that spinner now at the bottom of our UI. So that's awesome. Let's continue. Now that we've got that actually showing, we need to make the call to get more results. And what we'll do is something incredibly similar to the handle location pagination here. I'm going to copy and paste once it's working. Not to worry, we're going to consolidate and clean all this jazz up. But here we are just going to copy and paste it. So we're going to say, um, make sure that we do indeed have a view model. We're also going to make sure that our collection view cell uh, view models or collect, yep, collection view cell view models isn't empty. We're also gonna verify should show load more indicator, AKA that there are more results to load. And we are gonna verify that we're not already in the process of loading more results. In other words, we don't wanna make duplicate calls to load the next set of results, right? Cause that would result in some really weird wonky stuff. So then we have a timer and we do our same calculation here for the offset to make sure that we're at the bottom. And on the main queue, we now say should, uh, rather we say show loading indicator. Now this is a terribly named function because it implies that it's generic. So what I'm gonna do is change this to, to be show table loading indicator and we'll change this here because we don't actually want this for our collection view setup um, because it's only for the table view right and the naming prior to what i just changed it to imply that it's generic which we don't want then we say view model fetch additional locations so let me actually say fetch additional results and eventually i'll consolidate that locations um, variant of this function to this as well in this case, what we're going to do is reassign our collection view cell view models, and we'll want to do a calculation to reload, um, rather add in new cells, because in the table view case, we're able to just do a blind reload and we don't have any issues with the entire um, table view resetting to the top, but we will want to do that for collection view since it's not uh, supported. So let me get rid of that comment. And we're gonna print out should add more results cells for search results. Cool, awesome. So we don't actually have this function yet, which is why we have these errors here. So let's jump into our uh, view model, which is I believe rm search results view model. And wherever we have this function for fetch additional locations, let's see if I can get away with just. Um, um, copy and pasting it. So I'm gonna call this here. Let me let me actually copy this entire thing right here, and I will paste it down below. And I'm cringing as I'm doing this because I know this is not great practice, but uh, baby steps. We want to make it work before uh, I over optimize the heck out of everything. So we'll change the function name here. What we expect to get back uh, is a array of something, right? So We'll see what we'll want here. If I come back here into the view, our collection view cell view model um, array is an array of any hashable. So we're gonna go back to our search results view model and say once more, this is a result of any hashable um, or an array of any hashable, I should say. And then what we're gonna do is we did the same check for loading more. We verified that we have a next you know, set of results URL. We create it, we set the flag that we're loading more. 
we try to create a request and then boom, we dispatch the request and we specify uh, what we intend on getting back. So this is particularly interesting because we, we don't know at the moment what type of results we are trying to fetch more of. So the way we can do that is by simply doing a switch on results here. And it might be a little dirty, but let's hypothetically say this is correct and just read the rest of our implementation. Once we have success here, we get more results, we get info, we assign the next URL, we do the cast for additional location um, locations. We do new results, which is basically an empty array, and then we um, we do a switch, and then we add in the current set of results with the new one, and then we call our callback. So all of this um, looks good to me, with the big exception being that we need to do a switch to figure out what to cast. So we're going to say switch uh, results here. And the only ones we care about are characters and episodes. And in this case, we'll just do a break. And we actually shouldn't even get, um, get called to this code path because we only dispatch this request, this function, from the case when the collection view has got to the bottom. And this is our table view case. Um, so if we get here, something has really, really gone wrong. So good deal. So let me copy and paste this in both. And once it works, we'll clean it up. So I'm going to take this whole thing and toss it in here and this one in here. And we'll need to make slight adjustment adjustments. So for characters, we're going to say this is get all uh, characters response looking good. And here we are going to say original, or we'll say current results and you'll see momentarily why i'm doing that here will be current results as well and in this case this is going to be get all uh episodes response episodes response okay so that differs uh, between the implementations now in this case we get more results this is actually identical info is the same um, the next url assignment is the same the thing that actually varies is the cast that we'll need to do here so we don't actually need to do the switch inside here because we're already in a switch. So let me get rid of that. Okay, it looks good. Um, we're gonna do the same thing down here. Let me get rid of this uh, inner switch statement. Alrighty, looking good. And we basically just want to do our compact map here to the proper type. So what we're going to say is this is a Additional results. We have our new results. New results is going to be um, our uh, existing results. So let me actually call this up here existing results since that's the name we used prior. So we'll say existing results, existing results. All right. And once more, we'll say let additional location results down here to the generic name so it doesn't yell at me. Beautiful. And finally, what we'll want to do is um, for results here, we're going to change it to be episodes, and in the character case, we're going to change it to be characters. And we're still missing two critical things, um, and that is the proper type here for our view model. So if we scroll down, you recall, as associated values, we have the character cell view model and then our episode cell view model. So let's change those types up there, and hopefully everything should be working. So I will change this here. I'll change this here as well. Make sure it's character, make sure they map up. Our error should go away. Something is not working properly. Um, and that is the constructor here is different. So we'll say create this and let's see what it takes. Okay, it looks like in this case, it takes um, actual inline properties. So here we'll have $0.name I'm guessing $0.status, and this is going to be an image URL, which is $0.image, uh, which presumably we'll want to pass into the URL constructor. And our errors for the character case should have gone away. And it looks like they have, awesome. And let's do the location one and verify that all of this, uh, rather episode one, and verify that all this uh, copy and pasting business is working. So once more, let me change this. In this case, we are going to create the appropriate view model. 
And this basically just takes in the um, episode data URL. So this should have a URL on it. I will pass it into the constructor for the URL type. Here we're saying existing results plus, we wanna add additional results, not additional locations. And hopefully we should be good to go with no errors. So it looks like this is yelling at me somewhere here. So this is saying fetch additional results. I can't find it. Okay, Xcode is just being Xcode. Let's compile. All right, we're compiling, beautiful. So let's, let's do something now. So we are going to print out the number of results that we get back. So let's, let's do that here and um, let's make sure that we're able to get results. And in the next video, what we'll probably do is um, the logic to add those cells, insert them into our collection. So I'm gonna open up the console, Command Shift Y, I'll pull this up a little bit. We'll jump on over to our search for characters. We'll search for Rick here. And we do in fact have a next URL. If you remember, we're printing it here. And the way that you know this is correct is because page is two. We start by loading page one of results. I will clear that with a command K. And we're gonna scroll all the way down, see that spinner. It's not gonna go away, but we should have 20 results now, or 40 I should say, because every set of uh, results is um, a page of 20 at least. Uh, rather at most I should say so if there's let's say 30 results page 1 will be 20 page 2 will be 10 so cool it looks like it is working for uh, characters and it should also be working for episode so um, we're gonna jump into here we're gonna search for let's search for Morty I assume there's a bunch of episodes with Morty in it um, okay in this case we have nil and this nil means that we don't have more episodes uh, to load from Morty, which uh, is working correctly. We don't see that spinner at the bottom, and that's awesome. Um, let me search for maybe Rick, and hopefully we have a next URL. Okay, we do have a next URL, it makes sense. The show is called Rick and Morty. So let me scroll down. Boom, we have our spinner, and we have 28 results in total now. So page one was 20 results, page two had eight more, and that is our total. So cool, we have basically baked in pagination for search results. Uh, in the next video, we'll just wrap this up and maybe we'll also clean up the bug that I noticed in locations um, where, that's not how you spell earth, where we are uh, continuously showing that uh, table view footer. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Let me go ahead and just stage and commit this. So we're gonna CD into our project folder. Alrighty, we're gonna do a git add to stage everything and that is not how you spell git. We're gonna do a git commit and let me call this, um, let's see, search results collection view pagination. We'll do a git push and attempt to spell git correctly, otherwise it won't work. Boom, and awesome, we're good to go. Give a huge round of applause to yourself for almost at part 55, I think is next, which is pretty wild. So I will see you guys there. Make sure you hit that like button before jumping on over there. Tweet the series, connect on LinkedIn. Um, obviously it takes a lot of time to make these videos. So if y'all watch and you know, just even like the video, leave a comment, it means more than I can even uh, blabber on about. So appreciate it, see you next part.